line did you get here? Welcome. Hello everybody and welcome to Viewership Down. I'm your host, Dr. Chocolate, here to bring you some more Final Fantasy 16. And um I have been slacking on this video game. It It's been I think I played this last in June. No, not June. Maybe maybe October. Maybe October was the last time I played it and I still haven't beaten the game. So Let's get this done, because um, Rebirth comes out in a month, and I'm going to be honest, I care about Rebirth a lot more than I do 16, especially since I kind of, I don't know if I love 16. 16 is cool, but I don't know if I love it. Alright, Delmechia. So we got two in Delmechia, and then this one that's just somewhere. Nine of Knives, the Jaw, Delmechia. Okay, well, Empty Hubble, Delmechia. Why don't I just go there, eh? Yeah, why don't I just go to this Empty Hubble in Delmechia? I have to remember how to get there. The Jaw. The Dal Mill. The Valkyroy. Rosaria. Okay, well, this is Delmechia, so... What looks like it's called the Empty Hovel. Um, it's Fangs Drip, the Jaw. Uh, oh. The River. Bandit's Bed. Nothing in there that looks like it's called the Empty Hovel. Rip. There's some stuff down that way that we just didn't explore. Hey, you know what? Let's go there. We're gonna go to the Dow Mill Inn. Go south. Because that way we can also sort of get ourselves back into um, the way that the game plays. Because I'm gonna be honest. It's going to take me a while to be able to, like, properly do combat again. I'm having enough issues just, like, trying to, like, run properly. Take a sniff, good sir. Fresh spread, warm from the but, as you guys remember, uh, we, do the, we do this in the span of three or four hour recordings, so... Likely won't chat the entire time, but I'll chat most of the time. But... We're going to be uploading this much the same way as the uh, the Final Fantasy Marathons have been. So, with that in mind... Oh, there we go. The sprint started. With that in mind, we are going to have... Like, sometimes we'll have dead air. That's how we summon the Chocobo. Okay. I saw the little Let's button go. show up. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's keep on moving. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be an unpopular opinion that, like, I might not be the biggest fan of 16. I think 16's great. Like, I think it is a good game. Uh, but it is definitely not my favorite Final Fantasy. I, I am more so playing it out of obligation at this point now. Definitely way more excited for a uh, remake. Let's keep on a walking. The Fields of Caraba, Titan's Wake, the Cattery. Isn't the Cattery where one of those were? I think we're close to one of the items, or one of the people. Let's go to the Cattery. Uh, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> this place is beautiful, though. I'll give it that. This place is beautiful. That's inaccessible. Empty hovel. Okay. Okay. There we go. We're finding some places. The funny thing is, this is probably where we're going next. And I just, you know, did the usual thing of hopping forward. I wonder. 
If I use this screen, is it still like... It's a lot more comfortable to like look at this screen than it is to look at the other one. It looks like everything's still synced up, so I'm just gonna play off of this. You know what? Let me dismount. I'll be able to tell if everything's still in sync with the combat. Oh yeah, everything's still in sync. Okay. What did I want? I wanted... I want a Garuda. And then I can do... Oh god. Uh, I can do that. There we go. Okay, wait, no. I want to be in Phoenix, right? And then I do... That. Into that. No, I'm missing something. What am I missing in this combo that's making it not work? Once I remember it, everything will be fine. But... I must remember it first. Uh, we want to go this way. Empty Hubble is over here. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. I think it's Torgal. Oh, hello there, Beastie. I was about to say, you're not going to work for this, are you? Okay. Ooh, nice parry. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use all the likes. It's gonna take me a while to get the combat back, but I will get the combat back. I'm a fast learner. It's gonna be staggered soon. Let's rebirth him. And then gouge. Because then you get the multiplier up, and then you do aerial blast. I did that in the wrong order. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do Will of the Wikes into. Um, it's like Will of the Wikes into gouge to get the multiplier up, and then you do all your big hits, if I remember correctly. Did it just get all its HP back? I think it did. I'm confused. I have a feeling it might have been because of distance. Not the Titan counter just being godlike. Bunch of damage. Nice. My HP, it's so low. Dodge button? I can't remember. Alright, that's how you heal. Let's jump. There we go. Alright. R1. R1 is dodge. That makes things... That makes me feel a lot stronger. that up. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We're doing a bunch of damage now. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, cool. I'm leaving. I don't even think that was the hunt I was supposed to find. Alright, but at least we found the dodge. We've sort of got everything... What the heck is that saying? Oh, Hamilton's there. It's like, what are you eating? Turns out he's biting his paw. Yeah, I think those are the things we're here to kill, right there. Let me grab these. Hey, 
Hello, beasties. Yep, these are the things we're here to kill. Okay. Soul Stingers! That's fine. Shall we? I just got murdered in a hit. Was I supposed to dodge that? Parry it? Something? Switch to Titan. Okay. That didn't work. Well, they don't have much HP. Okay. There we go. That's right. We were forgetting Torgal. We have to include Torgal in our buttons or else this doesn't work. Get me up there. You know what? We can probably just do this into this. That's one of them dead for sure. Second one dead? Okay. Perfect. Oh god. Well, that was a ton of damage. This is what I get for uh, not playing the game for a long period of time. <laughs> oh, I just realized that instead of sicking Torgo on people, I have been using my potions. Whoops. Yeah, we'll have the likes back up. Hey, two more to go. Get him. Come here. Over here. One more. Right? Missed me. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Uh, I see we continue the trend of uh, when we, uh, the first thing we do in a game, uh, we immediately get game over. <laughs> that trend will never end. Alright. Well, that's that one's dead. Those ones dead. Alright, so that's the empty hovel. I don't remember anywhere else that... I don't remember anywhere else that, um... There's supposed to be. I think the Catrice has one, the Cattery has one, but... I'm gonna ride south, see if I can find something. So I already forget names, which is probably not good. And there's no, uh, there's no totem here, so... I don't want to waste the walk again. Especially since we're probably just coming here for main story and I'm just being eager. An eager beaver. So that is a closed off location, okay. Oh. Oh, there's something here. Okay. But where? Cause I got I got kicked off my mount. Hello. Why did I get kicked off my mount? No answer. Uh, maybe something's here eventually. <sighs> now nah, I got my choke about again. Come on. 
The worst part about this is that I know the hunts aren't mandatory. Like, they- I know they're mostly for, um... They're mostly for, uh, like, getting the ultimate weapon and all that. Especially with the fact that, like, max level is level 50. Um, but... If I ever decide to do New Game Plus in this game, and I don't have the ultimate weapon to start upgrading to the ultimate ultimate weapon, then I'm gonna feel behind. And that won't feel good. I don't like being behind. Storm Panther, that's a cool name. You know what, actually, I wanna fight you. You look fun. Come here. <laughs> I think we figured out the combat again. Alright. We just have to find all the buttons. up a stagger. That's okay. I was all sorts of out of order there. Nice parry. You're almost staggered again. Good lord. Dodge that. Get the big gouge going. And do the Phoenix Flame. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go check out the Cattery, because I think there is something there. Like, uh, Notorious Monster-wise. But otherwise, we'll go talk to Otto and we'll continue the story. I think there is something to do with that, like, little village area there, because we got dismounted. All right. But, who knows, it might just be a later thing, right? So let's uh, keep a moving. Everybody out of the way. Okay, what's over this away? <laughs> like a little area back there. Kind of want to turn around and check it out. Everybody move. Leg Eater, that is a name. What's this in a name? Give me that, give me that. Oh, it's just 35 gil in total, that's... That's great. I'm so, so rich. I feel like there is something over here. Dear Cattery, is there something over yonder? Provide knowledge. No, just dogs? Thanks, oh, God. I've been dismounted. Oh, why hello there. Grimalkin, okay. I fought, I fought these in Baldur's Gate. Leap on down, brother. Alright. Torgo. Bark. Okay. Okay, Clive. Oh, so do you fight the pack first, then? Yeah. 
I'm kind of remembering the combo. Do that. Over here. One, two. Come back up. And you can you can bring it back up, that's right. If I do that, go up, bring it back, and kill it. Nice. Uh, we gotta we gotta fight the whole place. Got it. I don't know how to make Torgal um, do the uh, the Fenrir mode, unless it's just when I use my limit break, which I don't know if I really need to do that here. Alright, when does the Grimalkin come down? Hello? I feel like I'm just fighting a bunch of minions. And not even good minions. Get better minions. Oh, I'm in Titan mode. Okay, I didn't realize. Hit that. Sometimes I forget about the charge shots. I say as somebody that hasn't played the game for upwards of months. Alright, you coming down, stupid cat? And then there was one. Let's commit the art of battle. Okay, yeah, you're committing the art of battle pretty well. Nice block. Oh, Torgal's in Fenrir mode. Okay, well, I clearly don't know how it works. stock on potions. Nice. Got another parry. Come on, silly kitty. Tricks are for kids. Bikes going. Uh, do the big damage. I like it. I like it. I have no clue where he is, but I'm doing something. Alright. We're back to normal. We got a precision block, but he attacked twice. Okay. Nice little parry. Nice. 
Oh god. Yeah, I wasn't ready to have my guard broken there, but at least we got back. Little the likes. Gouge. Got him. Think, Mark. Good trophy. Falcon hide. Cool. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Togol? Whoa. Alright. Um, let's go back to the other place. Or to the to like our home. Cause I don't actually remember where else we're supposed to go. <laughs> like what other hunts are here. Hello, does it rock? How may I help you today, Clive? A token. I'll be taking this. You earned this. Ability points eight hundred. I'll be taking those. Hello, Moogle. View the hunt board. See, there's two left. So, the Jaw Dalmechia, and then question mark, question mark, question mark, uh, in the Rosarian Ruins. Okay, Rosarian Ruins and the Jaw. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Let's do this. Rosarian Ruins, I'm assuming, means, um... Rosarian Ruins, I'm assuming, means, like, the actual ruin of the capital. But the Jaw... Oh, there he is right there. You can see him. Alrighty. Hello, sir. Would you like to commit the art of battle? I like your outfit. The Nine of Knives, rank A. Let's commit battle. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Level 38. Oh god. Hold on. Let us feast on your flesh. Your feasting days are over. Ah, pocket sand. Alright, we got the parry. We're gonna put up a little of the likes now. The constant damage will be useful. We can, because we can use gouge for. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, we can use gouge for um, raising stagger. So that'll be fine. Get out of the way of the poison mist. I see. All right, we're out of po we're out of potions, and we have done two seconds worth of damage to this guy. We do have our our uh, l limit break though, so that's good. This is not little the likes. It's gonna be fine. We lose out a bit on Titan. That's okay. Game is getting really mad at me for doing back steps. Oh god. Get this going. Alright, pop up Will of the Wikes. Do it again. So we need to get our HP back as well, which Limit Break will at least do for us. Oh 
Just gotta be smart about the fighting. It'll be fine. Limit well, break's going well. You know, we put him below 50% on the stagger with limit break, so that's good. Okay. Oh god. We're hurt. Why is he not locked in? Okay, I was gonna say, where'd he go? And then I realized he was under the ground. Titan block more. Nice, we got a parry. Little of the whites. Keep going for him. Go for the gouge. Limit break, do as much as we can. Oh, that's annoying. He went underground. Flames of Rebirth gives me a little bit of HP back, right? He's almost dead, which is finally frustrating. Need the limit break again. Need to get HP. Got him. <laughs> we punched him in the mouth. <laughs> that was close. I was worried about that one. Who kill for sport deserve no better. Okay. So then the last one is in the Rosarian Ruins. So where is that? Deal Dogs, Martha's Rest. I'm assuming it's the castle. It reads. Domachia, Northern Domachia. Alright, so Hawk's Cry. There's the Aldil Docks. Porta Zolda. East Cool, The Dim, Three Roads, The Ruin, you know what, screw it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a heckin' quick Google, cause screw it. The Ruins of Rosaria, Notorious Monster. Da 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 da. Cause I'm. I just want to do it instead of searching for it. It's uh, not as fun as people think it is. Done all these ones. There's Grimalkin. Um, so it's, where is it? Da, 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 east of Cressida. So it's over here. Okay. So I'm going to go to Martha's Rest, which is good because at Martha's Rest, I can buy potions. So that is one thing I have been missing. 
So I used all my potions in, like, one of the previous fights I just did. Uh, there should be a shopkeeper somewhere in here. Somewhere around here. Yeah, right over there. I think I'm using Titan's weapon. I can't remember. I haven't bought the DLC yet, so I don't have the Buster Sword. Oh, maybe I'm using... Oh, no, I'm using the Grindstone. Okay. Mission. Give this... Give this. Thanks very much. Give this. There you go. That all was it. Yeah. Uh, R2. Got it. Lionheart tonic. Fills limit break. Instantly restores all HP. Okay. Uh. Drake Slayer belt. Platinum cannons. Increases ability points, increases experience, and temporarily increases attack proficiency with each. The Berserker Dodge, I, I remember a lot of, or the Berserker Ring, I know a lot of people didn't like that when it came out, but like, I love it. I love it so much. Alright, so Mastering just lets you use it on other Eidolans. So, I want to upgrade everything before I master it. Or at least upgrade everything that I'm using. That's masterable. What's this? Okay. That's upgradable. Master. And we're not using any of the rest of these, right? Yeah, we're not using Wicked Wheel. Phoenix Shift. There's Flames of Rebirth, which we need to upgrade. Okay, so it looks like we're actually mostly at upgrading, um, like we're upgrading our ultimate abilities that we have been using. Okay, cool. So we got nothing to do here then. East of Cressida, so I'll set a marker there. Okay. And then I believe we can start up on the story again, because this will be the last hunt for a bit. Last hunt and last side quest for a bit, because I'm pretty sure... I'll check with the guy in town, but I'm pretty sure I've done all the side quests that are currently available. I think that's actually part of the reason why the game also was burning me out, was I was just doing everything... But that's just sort of how I play a lot of these games, so. Can't complain too much. Let's keep going. I was pressing the wrong button to gallop, whoops. Ba 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 ba. So, I don't play Final Fantasy XIV anymore, but. I keep on seeing, like, the announcements, and Viper plus one of the cities being called Solution 9. I'm just sitting there just like, man, y'all got one more, like, basically one more Final Fantasy 9 reference before I have to resub just out of principle, right? It's a damn shame. Oh, I went the wrong way. Why did nobody tell me I was going the wrong way? Okay, so it'll be over here. I think it was the actually the last time we played this game that we opened up this little bridge, wasn't it? I can oh. walk from here. Cressida. Okay, what if I didn't want to walk from here, Clive? Hello. I wasn't talking to you, birds. Oh, I see enemies. Spiders. Yeah, I just felt the heebie-jeebies go into my soul. Okay. Listen here, gross things. Yep, please get off me. Where's my arachnophobia mode? 
Alright, they're dead. Set me free. Alright, we continue along. So it should be over here. Hello? You look like a person. Shall we commit the art of battle? I see you! Yeah, you're definitely just a guy. Atlas, rank S. Oh, I see. Okay. So where... Have we done any S ranks yet, or is this the first S rank? Alright, we just gotta treat it like a Final Fantasy XIV bot. We're, we're just doing a raid boss, alright. There we go. All good. We just do the same stagger mix-up that we've been doing. Dodge that. Nice. I just noticed he's level 45. Good lord. Game really said so. Want to do an S rank? Like, isn't level 50 max level in, like, base game? So this thing's just five levels away from max? Nice parry. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter in this game because of the way that the combat system works, but... Still... Got a Titan block there, which is nice. Get Will of the Wakes back up, and then switch back to Titan. Got another parry. Celestial Sphere, which is going to drop the AoEs. Three parries in a row! I thought I was using Titan. Turns out I was using Garuda. Good. Got another one. Okay. I missed one parry and got bopped. Damn. That's unfortunate. Literally one parry was the end. All good. That's what happens when you're fighting something that's so much higher level than you. Hello, big guy. It's us or them. I was so close to the friggin', uh... I was so close to the, um the first stagger as well. That's a shame. That's, see, that move right there is what I missed the parry on, and it got me killed. Which is okay. We're already almost back to where we were. Nice, we're below 50%. Blood Shield Sphere again. Oh god. Get Will of the Wikes back up. Carry that. And dodge that. 
Nice. Got another parry. Nice. Pull the lights back up. Ouch. Nice. Alright, we fight. 43k damage, not bad at all. Put Will of the Wakes back up while limit breaking. Don't know what you're doing. Oh, that's terrifying. Saber Dance, that's a name. Nice, there we go. That's a solid string of parries. Sent through. I just got the block. Oh, God. Oh, God, we missed a parry. We're going to high potion that. Oh, we missed another parry, so let's let's not screw this up. Start getting HP back. Okay, this and this. And just keep doing damage. Get full HP back. Golden section while doing the big AoE, eh? Cool. We're gonna dodge that. Pull all the legs back up. Alright, next stagger we should be able to kill him. Shield Sphere again. He's doing the big slash. Oh my. Alright, last high potion. Oh, 
Well, the legs back up. Likes up. Do it again. This should be the death. Right? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, it's like, come on. <laughs> come on. Nice. That's huge. Big kill. Okay. Uh, we got Orichalcum, which I believe is one of the first things we need to make the ultimate weapon. So. Yeah. Yeah, you go to you go to bed. Okay, so that should be all of the NMs and side quests. So now we do go back and actually continue the story. I probably won't do all of the notorious monsters in the game. I um I think I'll probably do enough that gets me the ultimate weapon. And then otherwise, like, I have a feeling I'll be, like, so frustrated with the game at that point that I'll just go beat it. Because I know that the game is very backloaded. So, uh, I know a lot of this, like, we're going to do a story mission and then a lot of the side quests are going to open up all at the same time. Oh, I wasn't expecting you Hello. So Come to claim your just desserts. I gave you that one, didn't I? Donation already received. Yeah, just need Come a again. few more there. More and then you. you shouldn't Why? have any more quests, right? Quick look. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Hi, Otto. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Cooper is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. All right, well, we got Cat, we got Kupka. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. All right, we get Jill back. Nice. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Well, time to go listen to another... Long-winded story thing. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the Mother Crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? 
It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Wulud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kukka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Alrighty. Time to spread the word. Uh, new items are available at Cairns. Okay. Here for another of my lectures. Allow I me think I saw a new crafting you. thing there. So. One must understand one's place in the world. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. Well, let's go see what they have to say here. Something smells good. Oh wait, no, I have the crock pot on. I'm meal prepping right now, but meal prepping for me just is put something in the crock pot and let them cook. Well, What's up, Karen? Someone looks pleased with him. Nothing escapes you, lady. It's true. Hmm. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Hey, you uh you also have stuff, right? Well don't just stand there, go. Enhancer. Okay, so it's technically a better weapon, like weapon wise. Okay, I can buy a bunch of the crafting stuff now. These are Kestrions. 
Smax these out, because that friggin' Iron Giant I fought actually cooked me a bit. If that's the difficulty of the S ranks, like, I mean, by the time I start finding them at, like, current levels, they'll probably be easier, but that was a pretty good fight. What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooker is dead. Yes. I killed him. This is it then. A new beginning under yep. a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Uh, but I want to know what your new crafting stuff is. Use the forge. Enhancer plus one. See? Why why would I make it when... Oh, okay. Drake Slayer bracelets or Hunter's armlet. I'm currently using the Drake Slayer belt. Hunter's waist cloth. So yeah, that gets me the Drake Slayer belt. Gelatinous mass. And then Enhancer plus one is the Earth and Fury. Okay, so we get this. You a good while. Equip it. And then get the Drake Slayer bracelet. Right. Um. Looks like the Drake Slayer ba bracelets are still the better version here, but we're gonna do Enhancer plus two. Yeah. I should do you. Oh, we're good. Okay, cool. Anything else? I have a new weapon. Though I actually, I really like that. That is just like, you just have a sharp knife. I like that a lot. Uh... And the orichalcum here, that's... Yeah, so you can even tell that it's yellow. I'm fairly certain the orichalcum is... Um, it's for crafting the ultimate weapon. Let's go talk to Hippocrates. <clears throat> I start a thing here. Oh, appearance. They added... This must be new. They added transmog to the game. So white... Oh, that's really nice. Icy blue. Ambrosia. The only thing that sucks is I don't really want to change it. I don't really want to change anything for the first playthrough, you know? There's the enhancer. Eleven bolt. All right. I like having everything defaulted to like what it's supposed to be on first playthroughs. So, but if I do ever play this again, like if I do Final Fantasy mode, I'll definitely be transmog and everything. Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. Really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is a big baby. <laughs> Alright, listen here, kids. Somebody hit them with a club. A, 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 a not a not a hard one. Like one like like no Baras club. Hit them with that. There shall be no lessons today, only Thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your thing. Make fun of the old guy. Brilliant! A new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. Hmm, I Ultima, you say. Have you learned anything? Alas. No. 
and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing, not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. But I saw him. I don't so, there's no way that Ultima is not the final boss, right? You are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that... A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself. Well, but until I do... Thank you. <laughs> well... Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Time to continue the main story. I love quests where you just go talk to a bunch of dudes and that finishes the progress. It's not giving me uh, a Realm Reborn flashbacks at all. It's true. It's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. We're seeing troops and at every border crossing. You barely said that since you came home. Have you even got you running air rooms or something? Yes. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Well, that's good. Oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Are we gonna go visit Sid's grave? You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. Like yeah, we're gonna go visit his grave. Visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Uh, I just don't remember where she is. Oh, is she just right over here? Nope. Did that say new quest at the alley interport? Oh god. We opened a side quest. Fancy a look at the list, do you? What's up, goat? Anything catch your eye? For great justice. And use your loaf. Well, side quest it is. I thought we were safe. We were not. All right, Mr. Side Quest. Oh, my uh, screen just went black. Come on, just like that. And without so much, what's the matter? Oh, it, it's my. I'd go and look for leaves. Myself, but I've got a bakery to. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers. Yeah, sure. I'll see what I can do. Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere. And Drake's fang. Maybe I'll take this week to play more of this game. Try and beat it before re uh, Rebirth comes out, because it's January 28th right now. So, if I beat this game by the time Rebirth comes out, then I will be able to happily just play Rebirth. But I got a Steam Deck, and I have been using that a lot. Ready, go. Gallop my way over yonder. Hey Jill, I thought you were supposed to be coming with me. Where'd you go? I think there was a guy that I just saw. Turn around. Quest destination nearby. Yeah, there he is right there. Ah, I can't talk to you while I'm on the chocobo. Okay, fine. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I don't so know yet. a baker. Master must. Time was the sight of the fang used to. I take it you missed the mother crystal. I hated her, but 
She was all I knew. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm not... She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. But now she's gone. What am I supposed to do? I ask it. Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself. Recapture it? You know, I have to get back to the bakery right away. Wait. And off he goes back to the land of baking. Those who won't be needing an escort then. He ends up dead. Just doesn't take the escort, ends up murdered. Like, oh, God, for God's sakes. Oh my god, he's not here. Unless that's him. Ah, there you are. Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. Master, it's ready. I dare say it is. Just look That looks delicious. Her steeple peaks. Her true. My loaves collapse more often than not. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty. Master, I have found my purpose. I must... Uh, well, if it tastes half as you... Uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. I don't know how you did it, but... Quest complete. That was literally... Listen, whether you love this game or not, like, honestly, whether, whether it is... Whether it is something you love or not, um, some of these quests are, are not good. <laughs> oh jeez that's uh that was that that was great i guess the main story quests of this game are fantastic i will give it that every main story quest has been a blast but um i don't know it's just been uh it's been a weird slog of uh trying to get through all the other side stuff what do we do now? The crystals we get from the tail are all but worthless. And we are to dig a new stone. What do you want? Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Yeah, sure, I'll investigate the suspicious sightings. It's probably going to be like a dog. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales, and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Prioritize quest. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves, or something we need to take more seriously. Yeah, it's probably something you have to take seriously. You right, Sid? There is actually. Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Oh, the I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but... All right. All right, well, rumors of shadowy figures, but no confirmation. Do you have a moment? No, she doesn't. There's talk of suspicious figures. No, but I've heard something. Sound of Sad. scraping metal like someone Norbert's sharpening a sword. Was out foraging for herbs. Ran back here okay, so someone sharpening a sword. Cool. That lady ran. Norbert's pass is our best bet. Oh, okay. I don't even have to go to the next person. Good. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? 
So somebody is sharpening a sword at the end of this pass. Wow. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. As she doesn't fly. That's crazy. Oh, I'm being kicked off. Alright, one needs to die. You there. Fuck. He's seen us. Get them before they escape. Yo, I forgot that this game's R-rated as hell. Black or not R-rated, but just I, I forgot that they just cuss it. Cuss in this game, it's great. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? I was not ready for that. Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Oh damn, you guys are notoriously weak, aren't you? Again, box. Kill you. You do the healing. I don't like healers. He didn't die, did he? Okay, hold on. You. With the spells. Yeah, enough of you. Da, 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 da. Why right magic dash, okay. Why were they here? Are they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. Back to Lost Wing. Do, 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 do. Good day to you. So. <sighs> the crystals we get from the tail are all but worthless. Hello. Clive, I found some black shields. Black shields, though they serve another master now. And it would appear the pack has finally damn it all. I had hoped I would have more. and fight back. I'm sorry. Who did the Black Shield serve now? Because I want him. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. Oh, I don't understand. Why him? <sighs> okay, Why so... Of the, judiciary? the Chief Justice of Sanbrac wants so everyone dead. Got it. ...by the injustice of this world. I swore to fight it. And fight it I did, in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. 
I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. Oh boy. He faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. Oh, goddamn, Quentin. Quentin himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. It begins! It's ready for war. Cool. Well, it looks like the Lost Wing side quests are starting to, like, actually reach culmination. That's good. to change his mind. That looks like that's it for that. Okay. Alright, now to go talk to Mid. We are one and a half hours in. Nice. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it. How do we get to Mid? Uh, go to the left and then downstairs. Okay. Seeing troops amassing at every board across the Um, sorry, I just got some news on my phone there. Keep going. Am I? Am I dumb? I'm just like, what am I missing? It's down here. Hello, mid. If I don't come up with something soon. All right. Good. Start the voice acting so I can answer this. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Some old <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Oh. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. 
which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of oh three boy. major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell them. Hmm? Luckily, you don't need to. Alrighty. Can I just fast travel to the hideaway again and it brings me closer to Blackthorn? So much walking. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? No, look at that. Look at the anger on this man's face. Dude looks like you put angry dude in AI. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Krieger's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but. I can make it. Won't be easy though. And I'll need help. Get Cavanotto in here, will you? All right. What if I don't want to get Cavanotto? So Liz roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave. I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff... Let me guess, we're going to go to that part of uh, Dalmechia that I had been adventuring around in. <laughs> well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Letting off steam. Alright, please, no side quests open up. We're still doing Out of the Shadow. Okay, I see, so... You going after the Stardust then, are you? Yes. Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Gav, you're with me. Because you're my bestie, Gav. with me. All right then. So, uh, where, where do we you find think? this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dalamil. 
I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off out at Pat, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Alrighty. So now we should be... Yeah, I was about to say, now we're going to the area that we've already been. Damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, we're actually... We're not even going to where, like, we were... Like, where we checked out. It's... It's this it's it's still a different place, but YOLO. Uh how do we get out? It's right here. Okay. Ba -da -dam. Looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? He's over yonder. Hello, Gavin. That was very Final Fantasy 15 of me. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. But if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll. Then let's get back in. We shall. All right, begging we do. Ugh. Gather Stardust, zero out of five. This is such a start of expansion pack quest. <laughs> Gather this sand, Stardust. bring it to the guy. It just looks like black sand to me. Come on. Oh, it's up there. Okay. It's five out of five. Five out of five. Right over there. If this game says go back to Blackthorn, be enough for now. deliver the startup. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Okay. Gab's probably getting attacked by something. Knowing this game. Gavin! Oh, look at that, you're not getting attacked by something. That's crazy. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Hmm? Oh, fuck. You win. That hmm? might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, I... before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Gav wants to have a personal conversation. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. 
says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Adorable. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. What the heck am I gonna do? I'm just gonna fast travel directly there. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? Why didn't you just go home together? Why didn't you just go home together? Kia! Whatever, Clive. You just didn't want to hang out with Gav. Stupid. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, hello. Well, let me guess, we gotta go save Otto. Oh no, he's there, okay. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Level up! I also think I'm like 10 points away from getting the next uh, Renown reward, I think. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. It's okay, just add another side quest. Port to mid. Wait, don't be dumb. I can go this way. Just keep running, just keep running. Just keep running, running, running. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. What if I don't come up with something soon? You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So. What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Go so kill a robot. Ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's her name back there, Ugly Lot Details? What's her name back there? That's. What's her name? Ah, it's crazy. Right. Hello, what's her name? Helena. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. 
excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you I'm see, on and serves 47. as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our so, experiments 47 have shown out of 68. that ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand okay. and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. I had to look up how many missions are left in the game. You could tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um... I see. Would that help? Let's go kill an unwanted visitor! <laughs> I'll gather my team and head there right away. Letting off steam too. What's her name? Make for Law Barrett's Pass. Back to Lost Wing. Ba -dum -bum, ba -dum -bum. Taking you to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. If you're ready, we leave at once. This is making it seem like. It's good we did the side quest, because, like, everyone's prepared for war now, but, like, if we didn't do the side quest, would everybody just be dead? Let's a walk. Okay, I was about to say, I went the right way, right? A level 13 Black Widow. Crazy. find over yonder. Hello, madam. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature. I can't tell oh. if she's scared or, like, planning on betraying me. What's the creature? Anybody home? Oh, it's an Araman. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. The, uh, the, like, saber scimitar that, uh, Clive's got right now fits his character really well. Been shot. Let's 
get one of the wakes up. Down. I forgot to gouge. Whoops. I'm doing this really poorly. That was bad. Oh no, I just got a text for dinner. Oh god, okay, let me kill this thing and then I'll go get my dinner. Thank God OBS has a pause recording button. Pull the wikes back up. Get gouge going. It's almost dead. It'll be fine. And... It's dead. <laughs> Look at that little backflip. The Torgal flip. Da, 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 da. Oh, I think I have enough experience or attribute points to um, raise an ability. The things I do. Sit. Thank goodness you're safe. Thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll um, see that everything is trans. All right. Why is she talking like that? I feel like we're being like I feel like we're being baited. I don't I don't trust these people. I don't know why she talks like that. Nobody's that nervous. Oh, okay. I guess they're doing their job. Hello, Torgi. Yada, yada, yada. Go to attributes. I mean, sorry, abilities. Abilities. Well, the wikes can be mastered, but that's ignition. Hot and... F mm, nope. Um, wind up is masterable. Upheaval we don't use. Raging fists we don't use. 25-25. Okay. Or... Two thousand and five, or twenty three ninety. I kind of want to upgrade Flames of Rebirth because that'll also get me more healing, but I need like twenty more attribute points. So I'm gonna pause quickly. So this is gonna look weird on the recording, but I'm gonna pause, go eat my dinner, and then I'll come back. So B R B. Oh goodness gracious, um. Dinner was good, but uh, it's two and a half hours later. Time to get back to this recording that still has two hours to go on it. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I had a family dinner today. And uh, yeah, it was uh, pork belly sandwich, uh, pulled pork belly sandwiches. It was delicious. Delicioso. Anyways, now that I'm all nice and warm and hot and bothered, let's get back to this video again. Uh, report back to mid. We're seeing troops amassing at every border. Oh, look at that. My Renan is... Gucci oh, flip-flops. I wasn't expecting you, but... I wasn't expecting you. Give me my meteorite. Oh. You earned this. Damn right I earned it. High Cleric's Medallion in... 150 okay. more. Okay. And I'm assuming you haven't upgraded anything yet, right? Okay, thank god. I was about to be so mad. Okay, I'm gonna start this mid cutscene and then I need to get these socks off. It's too damn warm in here. Hello, Midi Pop. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. Why is my hello monitor? What's going on? Remaining. Right. My monitor's having a bit of a fit. This one's a bit of a bugger. 
Okay, it's actually too warm in here. That moment when we're in southwestern Ontario and uh, it's uh, the middle of January and it's 10 degrees outside, but uh, the the heating in the apartment building you live in uh, is it's set to heat. It's awful. Add any more way, and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light, but I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpo crates. Tones. Yeah. Well, I'd thought of that. Obviously, I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it. Right away. That was difficult. Um, all right, to Harper Crates. We are not walking. Okay. Oh, I'm never dreaming. Hi, Harpocrates. Harpocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive, always. Harpo Serratus. This time, could you take a look at this? For a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. Oh, Dragon Ball Sparking yeah. Zero announced its first few characters. Consider the lake we have made our home. Four it's Vegetas, like four Goku. I love that people are mad about that. Brine, oh, eight Gokus. Timber and steel like, iron. bruh. It's a Dragon Ball game. They're the we two main made characters. Home here from those very materials, nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it, it might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Oh. So you need a hand. Apparently, here. Dragon Ball Fighters. I'll be heading to market. Still doesn't have a rollback release do date. Help. Oh. Company too. The other can wow. assist me in researching how best to prepare the shield. That's hilarious. Um. Count on your aid. Always. 
Well, if Jim yeah, that's getting... actually hilarious. Thank you. May we continue sure the plot? Either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. I mean, we're going with Jill. We're taking our girlfriend with us. We're in love. Shielding the guards against even the most ferocious flames. So, Clive, who will accompany you? Jill, we go. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of white chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... I would have thought the ingredients... Though these items may seem mundane, they have so much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost now, of course. They can be obtained with ease. Is that Gotta so? go to Northreach. I think we need to visit Northreach anyway. Uh I will. Why does nobody travel together? Why Why are they just like, I'm gonna sense. dip? You too, Talia. I'm gonna dip. I'll meet you there. Like, bro, why don't you just travel with me? Any hoops. Dun da da da. Things would have been different at the mother no grand. Jilly Pop, where are you? Hey, Jilly Pop. I'll go to the home for ingredients. Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the Pepio? I'll find the other things we need. Man, have I done like five fetch quests in a row and all of them were MSQ? Can't wait for Final Fantasy 16 2 Heavensward. Where the game starts being phantasmal. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want, that's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Welcome, welcome. Come back again. Do 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 do. Hi, Jilly Pop. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and peppy. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? We're gonna go have ourselves a little a little jaunt through the forest. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here was... reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. No main expansion. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cake. Jill, are you trying to go on a date? Just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Oh. 
Clive. Livy. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? Nah. No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Okay, let's go. Nope, nope, we're still going. I do really like Jill's hair. Well, I, I think just I Jill in care. general. Jill's design is fantastically done. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Off we go then. Okay. Um, well, I will say I absolutely hated these quests. Because that was three fetch quests in a row. Five fetch quests in a row? I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon to you. I'll be honest. I don't know how I feel about the fact that I'm just playing an MMO quest-wise. It's it's like a bunch of a bunch of MMO fetch quests. And at like capstoning each like stretch of fetch quests is a really sick boss battle, and I'm just at this point playing it to get to the next really sick boss battle. On the shielding progressing, Hippocrates. Well, very well indeed, and thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew, and now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Dun, 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 Jill, dun. would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. It was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Harpocrates. Harpocrates. Alright. We did it. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Please add a fast travel point to mid. I'm starting to get frustrated. I don't I don't like feeling like I'm complaining constantly, but I am starting to get frustrated. Bye goots. Bye goots. Bum do 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 bum 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 bum. You found something for it. In a yes, Hippocrates knew of a sub is supervising the construction and testing. Brilliant. Oh, thank me. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits to the black hammer.
You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Bim Salabim. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Dun dun da dun 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 da dun 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 fetch quest Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing searching for a land untouched by the black. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap That's what she was meant to be. You see, but now she's so close to being finished. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get... I want... I want people what to sail aboard us? her by choice. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I Good can job, to Clive. you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. God, why? I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about that? Something tells me it's... He'd be proud of you. You, um... I was. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish. All right. I'll... Aye, aye, Captain. At least, at least going to Sid's grave sounds like a friggin' plot. A plot quest. Oh, God, there's... Okie dokie, um... Where the hell am I? Okay. There's a quest nearby. I gotta go read my bedroom table. Quest accepted. Now you're a busy bloke. Next time you're free, go ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Black. I think the quest. I think this quest is the quest that gets the um, yeah blacksmith's blues. Those quests are the ones that are required to get the ultimate weapon. So. Those are kind of necessary. The pen is mightier. 
Open 10 letters. Something ain't right with my dog. Motoko. He seemed well enough when I last saw him. So four side quests, because there's also one in Mid's dungeon. Okay. I got your note. You think something's wrong? So you can read. I didn't say I were wrong with him. I says he used to love cracking Not eating my treats. From Molly's boiled brown. Didn't like him. Which you've not been working him too. No harder than you. Is that it, boy? You need a rest. Well, Torgal just wants a nap. Was. A frost wall. That's what the lawsman seems to. Then maybe this all has something to do with what. I suppose things happen different. Perhaps Hippocrates knows. Instead of everything. Why are these side quests the cool ones? Like, why? why... Nah, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna do them. I'm not gonna complain. We're just gonna do them. We're just gonna go do these things. I need to ask you about Torgor. He isn't ill. I don't think so. But she says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes. Hmm, I rather think she might be. All canids are instinctively inclined, and I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. If we assume that his new. We need to get Torgor well bigger that bones. The Lady Karen is frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger. As to where one might find a suitable substitute. I don't recall ever seen and little wonder. The oldest and largest such creature, the last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about, took place near even so. Good hunting, Clark. Alright, so go to Cressida. Speak with Gote, speak with Blackthorn. Thought. What's up, Grumpy? Not really. No. This won't take. I just wanted to ask how you're... And you might still be doubting your craft. Even after perhaps sharing your thought. No, but still, you've got a key not. He's just... Well, and that was... A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge Sword with a single-edged blade. Itself wasn't anything to write home about. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that. And he'd be half... So that's what's... Uh, no, no, no. They're not troubling A single-edged blade. Is that just... It's a, is it just a katana? Can't stop. And if you knew how to break it on the curse break it. That's about it. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always... And we can't have our master blacksmith. Sure is soft, but I can't say I'm not grateful. Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about... You're looking well. What do you want? I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Running around... Up. I suppose I am, yes. Little wondrous. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins and those which made it nice. Can you tell me who bought it? You think I tell people? I suppose you're not likely to go. Fine. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Del Mecky. And he's got more money than sense, which he reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dal. Thank you, Cat. Oh. I appreciate it. Dalamel Inn. Cool. Alrighty. Okay, so. Cressida, Dalamil, and then wherever this one sends me. I've been on this out of the shadow main story quest for so long. Good gravy. Sword hand. Sid. Let's hear it. Well, it's a lovely bit of kit, yes. Bung in a solution. Problem is, it won't all which is why. I Up away I with the Olympic. Get some use out of this Olympic too. Proper so what exactly do you nothing but bomb ash gave me a sample she'd Gotta go fight a bomb. You pour the blackest blight, sir. I did it. And do you know what I found out? It's only the I oh, gotta it. go fight a bomb king. I, I, I saw a bit of gone myself. But... Oh, it's on the hunt board. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Now we've got we've. That means we have new hunts. <sighs> I 
This game is low-key never-ending. <laughs> Told me she was building a ship. All right, what's up, Gote? That's why I'm in. Shh. I'll tell you. A little. Listen, and eat. Sadly, that square. I can straighten it out. I swear, but I'm gonna need help. Here, Dave. There you are. So let me get this straight. And instead of coming, you get Clive to come to you. The man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. Well, oh, just Martha. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaways. Do we have that much to hand? No, we don't. After the king's ransom we had off him, we deserve the size. We'll need to learn to stand. All right. Is there anything I can do to- There might be. How do you fancy taking these to my- Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a th- Something Sid and I said, and I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I'm sure there will be. Mm. But you know how it is with this place. Or I know. Here, take these rocks. Great. They're worth a bunch of money. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because... Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. Well, don't worry. Really? No. I don't. Okay, that's funny. Deliver the Star Ruby to Martha. Alright. New hunts have arrived. View the hunt board. Look, the Bomb King. In Sandbrick, okay. Wow, okay, cool. Piss off you. Piss off! Okay, um... Weird science. Alright, let's just... Let's just go do our thing. Martha's Rest. Okie dokie. Isn't this also where Cressida is? It is. Okay. Do, do, do. Hi, Martha. Clive! We weren't ex I wasn't expecting, but it seems we still owe you, and though I doubt it's what you were expecting. Star Ruby. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me a bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? Something like that. Same as all back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently oh, retired Oh, we're seeing what man Otto does for us. That without his strong, Sid may have been the face of the hideaway. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried. His death was hard on everyone. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. I reckon what he saw, and don't we all, doesn't that, and you keep good company. <laughs> Damn, did, did she just say Clive is handsomer than Sid? I'm pretty sure Sid was hot as hell, goddamn. You can't be out here lying like that, honestly. What's that? It's my marker, okay. I was like, what am I seeing over there? Alright, come on, Ambrosia. Let's go. Faster. Dun, dun, da, da. Ah, oh, sweet niblet smiley. 
<laughs> Ow, pain. Gonna go hunt ourselves some antelopes, some antelopes. No, no, no. So are these the giant antelopes? I guess so. Come here. Got one. Wind up. God, that's a cool ability. Did I just kill like three of them? I think I did. I think that wind up killed three of them. I'm okay with that. Enemy slain. And now I can upgrade uh, the Phoenix ability. Oh. Will it be enough, I wonder? Happy, excited pupper. I say that answers as much which means we owe the lawsmen. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? <laughs> a very big puppy. You do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you got your appetite back. Okay. This necklace is over there. The doll mill. Isabel, I believe this. I believe Isabel's over here. I think she's the owner of the brothel, the courtesans. There's talk the How the hell is anyone supposed to? Did you hear? All right, let's keep going. It's all right. What am I gonna do without sweet water and all your talk? Milady. Gif. Star Ruby. Oh my. Otto asked me to settle the hideaway and to. <sighs> I thought you might tell Otto he can keep his baubles. The man owes me nothing. My contribution to the restoration effort. Damn, so do I get the money? And willing. You once told me, Sid. I'd like to do the same. And for Otto's. For all of us. <sighs> Otto is lucky to have. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you. Otto had a son. Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. And blamed himself. And I don't know how it happened. Whether there was a... I didn't know. How could you have? Besides Sid. An ill habit. Given that both have always been surrounded by... <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Ba, 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 ba. The time the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. Okay, so stones were delivered. Hideaway, Charon. Uh... And then I also did, I also did the, uh, the other one. 
words, words and things. Um, journal. Weird science. Right, I have to do the bomb, the bomb, which is in Sandbreak? People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Kara's collector. His fang is gone. Twin lightning, fang over fang. Here, rich person. My reputation will be ruined. Oh god, you're the worst. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord I Out. I paid for these rooms, so I would. I'll cut you. Please, his lordship is going through a difficult time. Redeem. Get rid of. Very good, Lord. Would you mind step? She could have just cut him. I'm sorry if I've caused that. No, no, no. That's just how his lord. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. I don't suppose a certain blade, a single-edged sword. Ah. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. You are but to state it. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A condition I would be a fool to... I don't suppose you saw with the thieves. I did not. No. Though some every ill the bandit's bad animal is set to pop, and that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your that will be very kind. Farewell. All right, we got ourselves an audience. The bandit's bed is somewhere, it's over there. It's out that door, right? Nope, it's out this door. That would have been tragic. Give me my bird! We got ourselves a distance to run. Nah, I don't feel like fighting a scorpion. Why, hello there. We've got company. Come on, yeah. let's tear the bastard's head off. My head. Okay, big guy. I'm gonna need you to stop. Okay. The innkeeper. That's a great name. Slow. Come on. Help me, boys. this man. going and bop oh, somebody tried to hit me how dare you return to stagger
be gone. Got him. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. I hear I have you. What shall I call it? Wyvern? A formidable whale. Wyvern? Red here tells me you... A few moments of your time. Oh, you're a peculiar... Master Wyvern was wonder... Oh, Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her rat... It was made in the out... And is used exclusively, they believe. No combat should ever... Exist. Yeah, it is a katana, okay. It made for that one perfect reserve. Brutal. But how do they hunt? <laughs> Why, they use a wet... Wet stones, rather. A whole array of them ranging from the core, but it is the finest, a mineral, quite. And that is why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hard, take this the very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far. Thank you. I have received a whetstone. My lordship. I am locked in bitter comp. I am one step ahead of the uns. Are there are many other collectors. Too many to count, but only one do I consider. <laughs> oh boy, Lord Byron Rosfield, and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> Farewell, Wyvern. Ma Redeem. We we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather t coming, my lordship. Nobody will ever know. I'm not Byron's grandson. Uncle, nephew. Trust Nobody will ever Byron know. To find such an interest now. Yeah, no. First, we have to go kill a bomb. Gotta remember where Sandbreck is, though. Ah, like literally right here. Okay. I hate that I don't remember the name of the place. Dragon's Eagery, Player View, Advent. I'm hoping that I just see it. The Norvent. Lobert's Pass. Yeah, I think I I think it's Lobert's Pass, isn't it? Screw it. I'm gonna look it up, but I'm pretty sure it is Lobert's Pass. Uh It was not. Okay. Um At the Croc. Am I dumb? It's making me feel dumb. Ah, I see. Okay. Eureka! Ten out of ten. I am an idiot. Okay, so. We want that. Where's my bird? Good girl. Come, bird. Gotta go kill ourselves. Bombs. Everything's gonna be fine. There we go. Something has changed within me. Oh, 
found ourselves a little village. I'm gonna get kicked off the bird. That'll do, girl. <laughs> Just gonna pretend I'm not infuriated. Right up yonder. We're go. Fine. Hey, look, a bomb. Hey, Keyleth. Yep, you look infuriating. You're a B rank? I fought an S rank already! Look what we have here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Too slow. No elemental resistances in this game, right? Clearly not. You're taking fire damage. That was close. Will of the likes. I just noticed this thing doesn't have a stagger bar, which means hold this. I'm hitting nothing. Are dead. Isn't there like a pull down mechanic in this game? I think it's on stagger bars. I'm pretty sure you can use Garuda to pull uh, to pull people down. Now that I think about it... Oh, that was not the move I thought it was. Whoops. I thought I had uh, the Earth move flag. Oh god. Hold up. Might be time to use this. Okay, yep, had to crank out a panic heal there. Got a parry in. I hate that I used the wrong one! Tornado! Okay. That was kind of close. Okay, now I can upgrade the Phoenix ability. Bomb Ember. Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. We got the bomb ash. 
This looks like the stuff. Let's see if there's any more. Bomb ash. And bomb ash. That should do it. Okay, that is all the bomb ash we need. Okay, um, first we go to abilities and upgrade Phoenix. Next upgrade is probably going to be Aerial Blast just for the stagger that it does. Who I needs more than this? Alright, we've got four side quests to turn in and then more main story. Hi, Karen. Sharon. I noticed you and Toga had gone off. <laughs> Gazelle Bones. So, that'll teach me for. <laughs> All right. I'll... Now we know what you're after. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. I bought f I brought five for later. Goddamn. You can I. In return, you can follow the system I went. Go talk to Tames. Hello, Tommies. Ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, yes. Lawsman. You point very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way. For your part. Ah. Do you recall our conversation concerning about how she somehow precisely that? A reasonable conclusion. The Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him oh, are Jill and uh Torgler connected. Suggest that Torgal may be the beneficiary. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill. He has, in short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say, and that number has only grown. One can but speculate as to he has seemed more. And if I am not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. <laughs> He's more than an ally. He's a friend. Apple's Fang. Even the legendary kit slightly increases Torgal's attack potency. Oh, cool. I think these side quests, once they're complete, um, these will uh, put me over the next threshold of Renown. Sorry for the wait. Hopefully, you learned something about. I did better. Uh, yes. No wonder I won here. Why not be so bad if all you ever fought? Uh, good luck on the battlefield. Your second. Even so, is there? I think so. Yeah. With this whetstone and the Reich, but there'd be no replacing this little rock once. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably. Nah. No point trying to cop up. Finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now oh, there goes my monitor again. Consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry? Just imagine it. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'm sure the curse breakers. Just... <laughs> no. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. Oh, yeah. You'll be happy to hear. I'll see that my debt to you. Monitor. There you go. First blade I make's got you on. You come and find me. Right. What did that get me? Excalibur design draft. Ooh. Well, I want to see what the Excalibur looks like. Let me make it. I bet this costs Ori Calcum. Back at ya. So, what it be? Excalibur. Oh, it costs Scarletite. 
And Grimalkin Hide and Bomb Ember. Well, would you look at that? Hmm. Let me switch to the Excalibur. Oh, hell yeah. It is just a standard longsword. That's pretty. Alright, over to mid. Or, well, a Wayne. That's cool that uh, because we had done those hunts, we uh, already had the materials we needed. Hello, person who needs bomb ash. Take this. That's the stuff. You're a Jedi then. Bum, ba ba bum. Some time later. Lamon Malembic, and it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man. There's no. Don't these. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? What? Well, we happen to have isolated. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into. Ah, oh, I reckon if we slap a bit on your. Well, oh hell yeah, more potions. That's actually so useful. Carry more potions. Well, it's certainly f right. Thank you. No, no, for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. And I'm telling you. I hope there isn't plenty more where that comes from, Wayne. I'm going to be honest. Inventory increased. Potions, four to six. High potions, four. Okay, cool. Ooh, what are we hitting? We are just around the three hour mark on the recording, which means we've got an hour left before we call this one. You look like you could do with a drink. I can buy a round for the hall. God, that probably gets you an achievement. Gonna do it. It'd better all be here. Well, it's not be greedy now. You'll not find a better price than that. Finished, are you? Wait, why did one still say two out of four? Give me that. Alright. I'll buy a round for the hall. As if setting. Good news, everyone. The casks have been lit. Yeehaw! Don't be a stranger, Sid. Not even an achievement. That's crazy. Mid told me she was building a ship. Good, so Lady Karen. Ah, oh, she was just too stopped. She threw it right back in my face, in fact. And told Karen ref oh, I hope it wasn't I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. <gasps> Oh, go back and talk to Karen. Was I not just there? Was I not just there? Oh, I wasn't expecting you. Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. More donations once we get more. Okay.
Except the star ruby. I don't know, I may have tossed a talent, but those were donations. And of course not. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper. Oh, fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're... Hmm? Where'd you even get this? A canny one, meanwhile. Might claim it were nicked from the belt. Might be I old, might be you even know her. The fine continent. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. That's the quest. I hear you ended up delivered. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder. Speaking of which. Uh... Oh. So you remember what's owed to you? Seen that before. Yeah, yeah. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either at. I knew so little about him. And most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. <sighs> I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he. Before he died, back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. He bought passage to. Forget where. But having nothing better to do, I set up drinking island rum until the morning bell dragged quit my post not long after that. But me and Sid stayed close, promising we'd one day set. That was the magic woke inside my son Sid, and there was no hiding it. Couldn't you and your family? My family were the ones who summoned, wanted the monster. I couldn't turn my back on him, and I couldn't for the life of me understand how. Luckily, it was him who stood beside me when him who cried for him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop. And he was true to his word, too. Threw away everything he had, all to rot. I knew then. I followed. Yeah, Sid. Sid, I think, might be my favorite character in this game. Sid was an incredible character. Oh, hey, he's back. too clever for his own good was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. Sid's outfit is also, I think, the best in the game. I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto, I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. Ah. This note. Hmm. What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. You 
should have bloody well said so then. Just once before he went. But then why would he, him or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction, and I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that. This will do me just fine. I'm getting a goblet. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. Sid's goblet. Displayed in Clive's chamber is cool. Okay. Are we done? I'm leaving. Alright, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the hideaway traps in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Alright, well, now Mid's running away. We're still on Out of the Shadow. What's up, Abaloos? Have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. Thanks. Too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. Man, you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Obelus. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy! Borrow Gav. You can have him. Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do it. Uh, well, the next time you plan on visiting Sid, you. Ah, huh? oh, don't be so hard on her. Just like when we built this. <laughs> anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven. Gav will be leaving with me. You can count on me. 
Just be sure give Sid and the others my regard. Oh, by the way, she's got some things to take care. I hope she's too. Well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. Damn right. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Isn't that the whole point of the Phoenix? Life has a beginning. So we must live while we have the chance. Mm. Not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Jilly Pop! And Goots. And Sharon. Lady Karen. Karen. Bless a surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blind march is on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? <laughs> I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> man. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> Is Goots okay? There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklab Market. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. 
It will be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. Now get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Do you see, that's it. Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. To Bucklid. Onward! Oh god, finally on a new quest. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. Alright, just have to copy oh. a link. Okay, sorry. Family's trying to plan the family trip, and I cannot pay attention right now. Oh, hell yeah, I can call my Come chocobo on. here, which is awesome. Okay. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Oh, I just almost walked off. Okay. I think family's leaving me alone. Nope. I'm just gonna... If the game's giving me the option to walk past, I'm walking past. Let's poggy walk. I think that we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Okay. Dismount. Be safe. Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us. I was just about to comment on the fact that I I, um, on the road. it was just like a focused area and wasn't going to give me a side quest. And then I found these Svetgo and Jonas. Equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran. Bow, leaving his livelihood abandoned bow, bow. in the pass. 
he sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket the reward for your troubles. Yeah, sure, I'll help you with the bandits. Well, I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. Well, lucky okay. You came along. I'm gonna need you to not yeah. talk to me like that. Hoping to make a did, I, did I look like I came here to hit on you, damn it? friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okie dokie. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait. Yeah, there's no way that those two aren't the bandits. Hello, bandits. These must be our bandits. My leg. It's nice to have Jill back. I think my last, like, three videos, or maybe two Final Fantasy videos haven't had Jill involved, so it's nice to have her back. Oh, the likes. There we go. Whenever there's a flash, you can pull them down with, um, Garuda. Stagger going. Look at that, be wikes. Big freeze. Let's go. New enemies approach. Oh, you guys see my, like, me just demolishing your homie to the ground with you. Wind up. Box. Oh, I used the potion. Whoopsie. Whoopsie and Daisy. Got him. Investigate the cart. It's a bomb. <sighs> Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? The right man for the job. Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. Well, you've done your part. 
And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. It's I don't like you, Jonas. So rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? What do you mean next time? Maybe I don't want to help you. What do you? Why there? Why is there a next time? Who? What? Where? Why? How? Brown. Big brown cow. Who? What? Why? How? Cat. Dog. Big brown cow. Who's on the case? Pet squad. Who's on the case? You know. You know that. Oh god, that hurts. Um, that show, Pet Squad, makes me feel like I'm crazy, because I'll sing the opening, and nobody remembers it. Not not even kids, like not even people my age from Canada remember that show, and I'm just like, I swear it is a real show. I am not a crazy person. Oh man, crazy that I can just walk past you. That's insane. A do 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 do. Ooh, that's pretty. The final sin, the Dalme the Dalmechian Republic. So this is the Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. That is a pretty cool look. But these fools, or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him. Two curses. <laughs> to tell the truth. I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Bokhlad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. I have so much dog fur just attached to me and it's like getting in my nose. It's a struggle. Something wrong? Life? Nothing. It's nothing. Who'd you see, Clive? Da 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 da. Ba ba da ba ba ba. Meanwhile, seat of the Imperial Court. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. 
Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrin. Hey man, what about your actual son? He to rule an empire. He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek uh, to build. The worst character in history is off to the right there. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Balisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieco made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world. Oh, is it time for war? The true power of Sambrek. Father. I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers. Ah, great. And of the divine. The worst mother in the history of motherhood spoke. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! Just punch me with your stick? You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Okay, now I am just playing Game of Thrones. Forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? I hate that woman. She's awful. We in? Club markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. 
Found oh, Ambrosia. Let's go. The fact that we can go on our chocobo for this part is just amazing. Thank God. Because uh, we are fighting nothing. Infiltrating the Dominion. No interest. On high alert. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. More refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Alright, send us in. Oh, I'm being well. kicked. God. Where's Joshua? There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. Goots. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Oh, there's an obelisk here. Obelisk, obelisk. You sell oh. stuff. Mansa. Meteorites. You've a discerning. Yeah. Nice okay. Boots. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in? How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper, not nowadays. I am more than welcome to look. Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Oh my god. My mom is trying her hardest to get something booked and I'm just like, Dog, I will respond in 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, Pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. Hell yeah. We get to go get killed by a red chocobo? Most likely.
Oh, walked past it. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a store. Got it. To hire a coach. It's ten million for a two birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait, wait don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe, Goose, it's goods. What are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So, what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Where are we going? Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. It's Wyvern. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood.
One sec, I'm just replying to my mom so that she leaves me alone. <laughs> Sorry, guys, one second. Hopefully, she leaves me alone. <laughs> okay. Um, fulfill Eloise's... Fulfill. That's just outright not how you pronounce that word. Fulfill. Fulfill Eloise's request. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, Eloise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch. I have a feeling that we're gonna get through like this quest, like onward. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Um, and then have to stop. every inch of this warren like the but I need to get this game done before uh, before um, Rebirth comes out, so I'll probably start playing it more. To be honest. Should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Boom! 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 Okay. Speak to the fish man. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from You Eloise, cannot. Is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? I suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children bow, who stole bow, their bow. passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. Street rats? Orphans from the wars. <laughs> Saying that makes me want to play Kingdom Hearts. Few, perhaps. I will be playing through Kingdom Hearts with my girlfriend and her daughter. I am looking forward to that. They're all looking for a new I get to show them dominion. my game? Some of them take it as an Heck yeah. to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Difficult. Have you ever tried to get a child to do something that you need them to do? Come taste my peaches. You there. Yes, okay. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop me. I was just wow. wondering okay. if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave Jeez. you. Jeez. You know what? That kid can stay depressed. I'll take the last one. Do you have a moment? Hello, you thief child. What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. Take stuff. Picking Picks your pocket. To What's picking pockets? It? Okay, no, buddy. Uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. 
picks your pocket. Excuse me. Don't look at me Excuse like me. that. I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. Well, Bob Brown. What about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... Honza. He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. Mm. You've been very helpful. Oh god, I'm kind of ready for the day to end. Come on, come on. Get on the bird? No? Okay. Laziness. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll finish up this quest and then uh, probably head to uh, end this recording. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Onza! There are no crystals here. Oi. You there! <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. Oi, no what swearing. You, you two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunza, where are you going? So that was Hunza, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Jill, stay with the appropriate ones. I'm gonna go no, beat up a child. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy, I'm hungry. Did you see a boy run past? There was a boy. Thank you. Is this child about to steal a joke, bro? Boy, if you don't. It's all right, Honza. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people. Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they didn't. Well, I knew they were bad, but but didn't come at all half the time. Before I started, you know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Honza. You found him then. Yep. Jill. Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him. I haven't got your pass anymore. If that's what you want. Whatever you do to me. Not that I go against them anyway. It went for them. All right. So the cast stones, eh? I gotta beat up some adults, don't I? Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not. Don't hurt him. So I just blocked your overhead two handed strike mistake. with one hand. On the same side. Also, like hell we are. this sword is nice. It's one of the nicer swords in the game so far. Where did you get it? Must it feel? <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Oh, Your are sister? you Eloise's brother? I'm on your side, idiot. God. 
Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, You're not on you know the cast, good terms with me. Vultures who have made Bulklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? Yeah. My sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Quest complete! We got a meteorite. Oh. Alright, what's up, so, Theodore? What else? You get your traders passed back. Alright then. Alright then. Not Clive and Theodore just being the same Where dude. Are they camped? Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to I try following them once, but they spotted me half of We'll try it this time. Back down the road. Leitnis Cliff. Cliff then. Blood from the stones. So onward is another quest with friggin' multi quest. God. Quiet. Scare your birds if I want to. Hmm. Running, running. Hello, Ambrosia. Running, running. It was kind of an unnecessary chocobo ride. Hello, losers. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. Oh, that's murder. Too bad I'm okay with murder! <laughs> Shall we commit the art of battle? Continue. Why, hello there, losers. Ah, he's got magic. We, got well, we go for the guy with the magic first. Yeah, none of that. You can cast all the bravery you want. Kill you too. Ooh, the parry though. Oi. Jim. Fewer now. The big ones are gonna be up here, aren't they? Da 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 da. Ba dum bum ba. Ha! Not a 
a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> it will be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. Seems like a pretty free kill. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Hello? Shall we commit the art of battle? Will of the Wakes. Ifrit. <laughs> What was that about killing us? Wind up! Stun him! That's gotta be big damage. 50k, let's go. And a parry. Gotcha! Nice try. <laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Hey, who gave you guys those? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, oh we got uh, nine minutes left on the recording. Played, yeah, we'll probably finish up onward, and then once onward's done, we will uh, we'll uh, we'll pause the recording until the next time. I can definitely say I'm frustrated with this play th with this play session though, because like I feel like I did 90% fetch quests, including yeah. the main story. The opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail, and their demise solves three problems at a stroke. Yeah, we killed that them all. Of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goots has passed. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? Nah. I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Ah! Don't look so shocked. 
How We're dare you? Same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The and my ass. Here, Clive. This is for you. Crimson Compass, yeah! What is it? Elle has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Mm, cool. I like it, Picasso. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Bum, Say, bum, bum. nine million? We'll bum, bum, bum. try the caravan. Quest complete. All right, so that should mean that we can move on to the end of Onward. Right then. We hope. Oh, is that a bunch of side quests? Let's get this back to Goots. Fine. To I will grab the side quests, and then that'll be what we do first thing next session. Want to know right away. Bad news. Andre, don't oh, I know this guy? Something only trouble is. I recognize his outfit. Still new to the job, so I can't leave. What exactly are you celebrate? I've come by a particularly fine. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. So I've heard. Oh, so you, a uh, gentleman who might, would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? Sounds simple so, enough. So you'll do it. You won't need to go. Is Oldrich the Porter free of the finest? Stop by again when you let. I'll be right back. Maybe. Was that I like fetch quests? One of the guys I'm supposed to talk to over there, but that's okay. I'm just gonna gather the quests, not do them yet. Pardon me, but would you that well notched steel? My sword for hire. No, exactly. Do. Well, being something and. I require a rugged Should you accept? Well. Yeah, yeah, I can help you. My Formidable wonderful. arms. But where along the old Zemeckis road. Quickly. Wait. Why is this guy just Volo? What if I don't want to help you yet? I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Oh, where's the other guy? Like right here? You. I see you've been of some assistance. Perhaps. Finding someone. You see, I've been having. Tr I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine. Now Joseph's a cell sword and a good one. At Why not? I can help you. The old Zemeckis Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long. Can't imagine there are too many. All right, accepted. So we got three side quests and then the final bit of this main quest. And then hopefully we get to another boss fight soon. I would like to I would like to see another boss fight and less fetching. Okay, that's all the quests grabbed. So with that, I can save the game. Save. All right. 
we have saved. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this. That's four hours of a recording, as per always. Uh, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and get back to this pretty quickly so that I can get this game done before Rebirth comes out. So probably record another one soon. Even though these are probably going to come out after the Final Fantasy Marathon is done on the channel, which means these are still not going to show up for another, like, half a year at least. Anyways, if you guys liked what you saw, give me a like. If you loved it, give me a sub. And if you didn't like anything today, hit the dislike button. I promise I will not be offended. And I'll see you guys next time. What will you do tomorrow? That's a good question. I guess no one knows what tomorrow may bring. Whoa.